I find the mornings really quite stressful. Getting the children ready for school, getting a good breakfast into them, getting their teeth brushed, their hair brushed, their faces washed and out the door with everything they need for the day. And I feel it's really important that I have a good breakfast too. So pretty much every day I eat my homemade granola. Um, it's packed full of goodness. Oats, seeds, nuts, and I love it. I have it with um, Greek yogurt and blueberries and raspberries most of the time. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I make it. In here, I have got 500 grams of rolled oats. Um, these ones here, you can get them in any good supermarket. They're the jumbo oats. Um, I then put mixed seeds in, I put 100 grams of those, and um, whole almonds. I use coconut oil, um, a couple of tablespoons I put into a saucepan. tablespoon of runny honey. I find that sticks it together pretty well. Mm. 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 Making some great noises too. That goes in there and then I use agar nectar and I use two tablespoons of this. And I melt all of this on the alga. On a, on a low heat, you don't want it to boil. So this is all now melted. So I'm gonna bring it over here. I'm going to tip my seeds in there. I've also got um, 15 grams of chai seeds that are in there as well. And my almonds in there. And then I pour melted coconut oil and honey and egg of nectar onto that and then give it a good mix. This I put in um, my baking oven of Arga, so at about 160 degrees Celsius um, in a normal oven um, for about 10 to 15 minutes and halfway through I also give it a little um, turn around. I'll show you how I do that. Mixing well there. I'm going to tip that. So I've got a baking tray here actually lined with Baco Glide. Everything with Baco Glide in my kitchen. Um, tip that into there. Get the bits out. And I just spread it out onto the baking tray like that. And then just in the last few minutes of cooking, I add some seedless raisins. Um, you don't want to put those in at this stage because they explode and they taste burnt and horrid. So this now goes into the baking oven. The granola's been in for just over five minutes. I'm gonna whip it out. And just give it a turn cooking really nicely. So just do that, flatten it out again and pop it back in probably for another five, five minutes or so. pretty good. So that is nearly all done. I'm just going to add some raisins. So I add two handfuls. Mix them all up. 
and then back in the oven for two minutes. In there with the raisins for two minutes, so I'm going to take them out. Perfect. So that all looks really, really yummy. And then when it's totally cooled, I pop it into this storage jar. Um, these are Kilner jars and um, they have um, the vacuum seal. So it lasts for about a month in there. Although in this house, granola never lasts very long. 